Hey everyone, John here from ContraBim, and today we are talking about a subject that I've been working on here heavily for the last few weeks, and you probably already guessed it, it's the subject of pen sets. Now, pens in ArchiCAD are one of those attributes that are really kind of critical to everything that we do. Uh, it controls really the, the graphic output from our models, and um, yeah, they aren't talked about that often, but... Uh, as I've been working on my own pens and developing my own standard and really dialing in how they get used within the contraband template, I've come up with some different tools that have been useful to me that uh, hopefully can be useful to you as well. You can download them for free from the blog. I'll post it in the description. And uh, yeah, you can play around with these and see if they can help you kind of get your arms around your own pens and uh, fully understand how you're using them and uh, use these as a tool for really planning and making notes on uh, maybe how your office standard wants to use your pens. So, okay, with that, let's uh, do a quick preview of both sides of things here, and then we'll jump into a demonstration for how you can actually load these up and work with these in your own file. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what we'll cover today. So, okay, here on the ArchiCAD side, you can see that obviously we have a bunch of boxes here that are laid out. You can also see as we start changing our current pen set, how it's going to adjust the visibility of those boxes and that's really the power behind these pen sets is we can quickly change from one type of view to another now obviously here we're jumping back and forth between the international version and i also loaded in the us version here just for uh, kind of ease of presenting this um, but yeah you can see that they're drastically different and just by changing that one setting it's going to completely change how our model looks and feels so but it's not just about the um the colors here. We also have pen weights to pay attention to. And those pen weights are drastically impacted when we go through and start changing our pen scale, or sorry, our, our view scale as well. So you can see as we ramp this up, how drastically different these pen weights are. And this is the type of feedback that you don't necessarily get directly within the pen settings. I mean, yes, as you go through and as you click on these, you get an idea of what the pen weight is in either millimeters or in point, um, but that doesn't really relay that information to how this is gonna look at different scales of your drawing. And um, yeah, it's just useful to have these laid out. So, okay, we actually have two versions of them here. One is without titles here, and the other actually has titles um, and some numbering, kind of breaking things down in the different groupings. Obviously, we tend to look at these in the US version anyway, in groupings of 10 that run horizontally. If we switch this over to the international version, um, these horizontal bands are less useful and it's more about the vertical bands of pens and so yeah this can be something that's um just really useful for kind of planning and making notes on um, i find going in and actually adding um, either you know text boxes or lines or fills within here or even objects and you know model elements you can add them right in here just to kind of preview how that pen is being used as well as making notes to yourself or to your team for how your office standard should be set up and followed so that's the other benefit of this is you can place these on a worksheet and everyone working on the same file can understand what pen gets used in what uh, scenario so um, okay let's actually kind of clear this out I'm going to delete this and I just want to show how these can be added uh, directly in here so um, I have this little kind of zip file that has some modules um, a folder for publishing txt files to um, there's actually a macro in here as well you can add to your excel file if you want or you can use the uh, this kind of pen management book that I've created but here under our modules we have those two rigs whether it's a the one with titles or the one without all you need to do is just drag and drop it onto a worksheet and you can then have this placed and you can then kind of you know work with it and um, make your own notes and preview your own pens um, just by placing this directly in here now this is all attribute neutral so it's just uh, lines fills and text boxes 
Obviously, all of these are going to be referencing the same pen, in this case, 81 for the text, 81 for the lines, and 81 for the fills. And these are just laid out to preview your pens for you. So, um, so yeah, feel free to just drag and drop these in to work with this on the other side, because this is, this is certainly useful within the ArchiCAD environment. There's other times where if you are kind of managing your attributes external of ArchiCAD, Excel can be a good place for that. If you want to make additional notes and kind of plan your big changes to your pens, if you're planning on making those, um, uh, this is definitely a good place to kind of manage those as well as see your different pen sets side by side. So in this case here, we actually are looking at, let's make this a little bit larger so we can zoom in. So we're actually looking at the North American layout pens, sorry, North American view pens here on the left. They tend to be a little bit more colorful. And the, on the right here, we have our layout pens. So this can be just like a nice way of looking at these in a different format that's outside the model that we can then make additional notes on and kind of plan the steps for how potentially we want to change things. So the cool thing about this file here is if I just grab a group of these pens and set it back to zero, all we need to do to bring these back is click this button right here, which is a little, very, very simple macro. And what that is doing is just going through, looking at the red, green, and blue values of that particular pen. And it's just converting that into a fill in those individual cells. So um, you can go in and look at the macro and play around with it if you want. Um, but yeah, the key here is we just grab the cells to the left of our index number and then we just click the button and it's going to automatically populate those cells to the left if we go outside of that it's not going to be aligning to these r g b columns and so that's important that it's always in the one to the left of the index in this case so okay let me show you how we can put this in here uh, from kind of scratch so um, I'm actually going to go through, let's delete this whole thing. We'll set this back to normal. I'm going to be using, I think about this cell as an insertion cell, but in order to add this, let's go back to, um, let's see, let's go to our pen rig here. I have some exports here. Now it's really easy to export our pens to a TXT format, um, which is really easy to then open up and copy and paste in. Uh, I'll show you how to do that here just real quickly. So if you're in your attribute settings, you can just pick whatever pen set you want to export. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna go with one that I haven't done, like an ArchiCAD 9. Let's just bring it over. We can bring it by index. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, but then from here, we can just go grab them all, save as a TXT, and then I'm just going to call this ArchiCAD 9. So that's a pretty old pen there. Okay, so that's all we need to do to export it. And then in order to place that content that listing from this TXT file, all we need to do is open it up. So let's actually start with the Graphisoft pens. Maybe we'll play with the ArchiCAD 9 later, um, but let's start with our model pen here. So I'm just gonna open up this TXT. I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. Uh, kind of works the same way as ArchiCAD. Control C to copy it. And then we are going to simply paste it right there. And then finally, all I have to do is select these cells to the left of my index number, and then I click on that button and it's going to automatically colorize for us, which is pretty cool. So, okay, let's bring in our model, or sorry, our layout pens once again. So here we go, our layout pens, control A, control C, and we are gonna paste eh, right there. Okay, so we have these now in here. Um, you can actually see that these came through in point and I have a little converter up here for you if you want to actually convert these over to millimeter, which I think is for me at least, um, looking at pens in terms of millimeter tends to be, um, a little easier to understand than points, but, um, let's do this. We're going to add a quick little formula here to multiply our weight by, sorry, we're multiplying our weight by this 
value right here and we want to freeze this by selecting it and hitting F4 or just typing in those dollar symbols and I can actually see that this is already set up because I place this exactly in the same location in this column H. Um, we have millimeters in here. You can add that uh, suffix in this case or the, that uh, unit of measurement by going into the format cells and then we can just type this here at the end um, within parentheses is how you add a text value at the end of a number. But these are still considered numbers, so that's important. Okay, so we can take those double click them, it'll send it down to the bottom. We can copy and paste this over. We can double click this to do the same thing. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's grab this column as well. And let's click on that button to colorize. And so now we can really see how things look from our, our model pens to our layout pens. Everything down here at the bottom looks pretty much the same. Um, we can also take this thickness and multiply or minus our other thickness to get the difference there and so then we can take this formula drag it to the top and see if there's any differences well it looks like those are zeros pretty much all across the board so those are the exact same pen weights so yeah very easy to do you can add as many pens into this as you want simply by just going through that same uh, workflow here. So let's grab those colorful pens from Archicad 9. Again, this information doesn't really mean much to us until we copy it and let's paste it. I always like pasting it from the same row here. We'll just paste it over here and then once again we're going to select and colorize. So, so yeah, that is how we approach using this. Um, again, feel free to go through and just make notes on all of this. I'm, I'm trying to find a good way to actually get a listing uh, in this type of format that we can bring back into our um, attribute manager. I'm not there just yet on this. Right now, this is only a one-way workflow, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll develop that workflow to get that in through the, the attribute file format here in the future so that we can kind of go back and forth with this type of management. So, okay, that is it here for um, this video. Uh, again, you can go and download this Excel file and these modules that you can just drag and drop into a worksheet um, and play around with these on your own. And hopefully they can be of use to you as you learn more about your pen sets and plan your um, next moves if you want to make any changes or adaptations. So, okay, that's it for me today. We'll catch you on another video soon. Thanks for watching.